Hey guys, a couple of you have reached out and asked, how do we get our lithium iron phosphate battery charged up so we can use the full potential of that 100 amp hour using something a little bit more simple. So what I have here today to show you is the lead time charger. This is the 14.6 volt 20 amp battery charger. And on the front, you can see that we got an LED that tells us what that status is. We can see fully charged, standby charging, and if we have a fault somewhere within the system. Now this battery does charge our radio controlled charger so that we can charge radio controlled batteries when we're out there in the field. And that's a video that I did there not too long ago. So what I'm gonna show you is I'm gonna plug this in right now. I'm gonna have to put the camera down. I'm gonna plug this in and then we're gonna be able to measure what kind of current, how close to that 20 amps we're actually Actually getting so let me go ahead and do that upon plugging that in we get the charger here ramping up in terms of the fan speeds and now we have that red light showing us it is charging so now if I set this amp clamp up to 40 amps and then I'm going to select it for DC and then I'm gonna hit the real zero so we can zero it out there I'm gonna clamp right around that wire. So we're right around that wire and it's showing us 19.95 amps. So right at that 20 amp mark, that's perfect. We're gonna be able to get this charged up in less than five hours going right from 0% to 100%. And a last point here, when we have our connector, we don't actually need to take this off. We can leave this attached to the battery depending on what you're doing. I probably will take this off every time because I don't want to have this just dangling around, it can get caught in something as I'm moving it around. But you can if you want, just leave it on there. You can clamp other stuff on as you wish. That works, no problem. Hope this helps out guys. See you in the next one.